हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादी फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विच इज टू टाइप्स ऑफ जोन्यूलर वीकनेस आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फ्रैंक जोन्यूलर डायलिसिस बट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो विच विल हेल्प यू इन यूर सर्जरीज सो एज यू नो द एनाटोमी ऑफ जोन्यूल्स देर आर मेनली द एंटीरियर जोन्यूलर लिम विच इज प्री एक्वेटोरियल and there is a posterior zonal limb which is post equatorial also there are some equatorial fibers there in some cases there is absence or weakness of the posterior zonal limb but the anterior capsular support or anterior zonal support is good and intact while in some cases you may find that the anterior zonal support is weak the zonules may be lax or more elastic or may be broken but the posterior zonular limb is giving good support to the bag while in some cases all the zonules are broken and you have a frank zonular dialysis so i want to show you couple of cases first we start with a normal case because i want you to focus on certain things here right at the capsular axis you can see there are no folds occurring the zonules are giving good counter traction for the capsular axis and during the cortex removal you can watch anterior capsular rim is very stable there is no movement and also while removing the cortex the bag is giving good counter traction for the cortex removal there is no movement of the bag or the posterior capsule here so this is a normal eye with good anterior and posterior zonular support now let's start with case number 1 i am showing the capsular axis here because for frank zonular dialysis or severe zonular weakness you will always have folds while doing the capsular axis which are going towards the periphery but here you can see the capsular axis was done without any difficulty but what i find during the phaco emulsification particularly near the end is that you can see the anterior capsular rim is fluctuating a lot and you will find the difference only when you watch normal cases so you will find generally the anterior capsular axis rim is quite stable during the phaco emulsification so if it is fluctuating it is moving towards the center you have to be more careful so just watch here this is a very subtle sign which shows that when i try to remove this cortex the anterior capsular ring on the other side starts fluctuating because of the fluid going there but you don't find this in normal cases so there might be some anterior zonular weakness here or some laxity which you have to be careful about because in these cases when you are close to the anterior capsule while removing the cortex the anterior capsule may try to go into the aspiration port so you have to be very watchful here just watch closely how I, whenever i try to go near the anterior capsule rim the rim itself tries to get engaged in the aspiration port if we engage the anterior capsule rim and pull it this will get converted into a frank zonular dialysis but you can see the posterior zonules are giving good support so never pull quickly in such cases because it can cause dialysis or maybe peripheral tears so observe that it's only the cortex which occludes the tip and use this cortex peel technique where you use low vacuum maybe say 100 to 150 and try to peel off the cortex gradually making sure you are not holding the anterior capsule anywhere and of course if you have a doubt if you feel the weakness is quite severe you can just put a ctr and then remove the cortex so you can see this is a very subtle anterior zonular weakness you can see the fluctuating anterior capsular rim there and if you are not careful if you don't watch these subtle signs if you pull the anterior capsule it is going to get converted to a frank dialysis and then you have to manage that but it's best if we could avoid any iatrogenic 
further damage to the zonules which are already weak. In these cases, I always use CTR at the end because we want a proper centration of the IOL in the future course. So a CTR, you will find that after putting the CTR, the anterior capsule remessel is very stable, stops fluctuating, indicating that the CTR has now given good support to the entire bag and we can put a premium IOL and we are sure that this IOL is going to be centered in future as well as CTR is there to give additional support. So you saw here that the anterior zonules were lax while the posterior zonules were good and we avoided further complication here by carefully taking out the cortex making sure I don't pull on the anterior capsular rim there. Now let's have a look at case 2. Again I am showing capsular axis here nothing special overall the zonular support appears intact this case was started by my colleague and maybe in this area there was some lack of counter-traction but I feel it is in the normal proportion only and uh, the capsule axis was little small so during the course of the surgery my colleague thought that there might be some zonular weakness so uh, I took over the case and I finished off the uh, emulsification part I didn't find much of an issue there but the moment I started cortex aspiration just watch here carefully yes so that's the posterior capsule being pulled in that is the posterior capsule okay so the cortex is adherent to the bag anterior capsule rim is very stable it's not moving so it is only the posterior zonular support which is weak here and that's why the posterior capsule is a bit lax in the post equatorial area and that's what is getting pulled in so you have to be very careful again in this case you can see on the other side also the same thing is happening so I'm going to go ahead on the other side of the incision and watch if the zonules are good in that area good thing is that the anterior zonular support is good anterior capsule is stable and we want to maintain that during this cortex aspiration so this area has very good posterior zonular support as well you can see it is going to give good counter traction for the cortex removal like in a normal case no issues in this particular area but I am of course watchful because the this weakness can be all around as well but it appears that this particular area is having good posterior zonular support as well now we come back to the first area you can see again the posterior capsule from the periphery starts coming in and now here we have to use the cortex peel technique you have to be very watchful keep the vacuum very low say around 80 to 100 make sure that your aspiration tip is occluded by only the cortex because here if you by mistake catch hold of the posterior capsule or even the anterior capsule and pull it you may have either a frank dialysis or a peripheral PC tear so observe that it's only cortex which occludes the tip and use this cortex peel technique very very slow pull on the cortex just give it time to get released from the posterior capsule if you pull it too quickly you are going to land in trouble having either a posterior capsular tear or cellular dialysis you can always go to CTR put a capsular tension ring and then take out this cortex but if you are careful you will be able to remove it this way as well if you put a CTR sometimes the cortex removal may become little bit difficult watch again here the anterior capsule rim is very stable so that gives me assurance that uh, the anterior zonules are intact now when to pull this cortex out the moment you find that the posterior capsule is going back you can pull the cortex out completely so just be watchful careful while taking out this cortex of course putting a CTR is a great idea and I'm going to 
take out the cortex from the subincisional region again the same technique to follow cortex peel very gradual we have to make sure that the zonular weakness doesn't increase anterior zonular should remain intact so just very watchful and very careful peeling of the cortex is what is needed very very slow and let it release itself from the capsule if the adhesion between the cortex and the capsule is strong you just leave it put a CTR and then you can remove it you can also grab this cortex from the posterior limb that is the posterior part of the cortex very carefully and then you can pull it out uh, but uh, you have to be little bit experienced to understand that you are holding only the cortex and not the posterior capsule so for beginners I would say just put a capsular tension ring and then take out the cortex that way it is safer so what I am doing here is that I am removing the cortex from posterior capsule first so that even if I leave little bit of cortex it's only in the periphery and vision should not get affected again here I'm going to put CTR to support the bag so that I have a good centration of the IOL in the post-operative period so I think this is a very important video these are the subtle variations we find in certain cases and if we pick them up early in the case we can avoid frank zonular dialysis and then its management it's always uh, wiser to avoid uh, complication rather than going in and treating it so I hope that this video will be useful to you I will share a few more cases similar to this which uh, I encounter in uh, my daily surgeries for more such videos do subscribe to my Facebook uh, channel and also YouTube channel and our website fakotraining.org.in Thank you so much.